Hey guys, um, hopefully you can see me here. Um, good to see you. Well, I can't see you, but, and I can't imagine you want to see this ugly mug, right? But, uh, hey, I miss you guys. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, uh, this whole thing blows over soon and then, uh, we'll be able to see you guys next year, okay? Um, but, uh, I want to give you a new project today. Um, we have done Zen Tangles in the past, and that has always been one of those things that kids like doing a lot. So I'm going to bring that back, and we're going to try a little something today, okay? So fifth graders, um, you did this last year. Uh, some of you did it this year, just as kind of your own choice thing. And fourth graders, we did this once already this year, okay? But instead of um, me kind of letting you kind of choose your own deal, right, I'm going to give you something to draw, okay? So... Here we go. Does it turn this way? Sorry. Here we go. All right. Get my stand back up here. Okay. So, like we did the hand thing one year, right? We traced the hands, and sometimes I gave you like a US map, and you could try that. Uh, we did some stencil things. Um, this time, let's do an outdoor scene, okay? So we're going to make uh, quickly just four lines, okay? And I'm actually going to slide this up a little bit because I need to be over here. There, okay? So I want from one corner to come down here, okay? And it's going to be kind of a round line, just a round line like that. Hard? Nope, you got this. Then from about the middle, I want to go to about over here, okay? So again, kind of a round line is going to go down. All right. Then from, whoa, drop the camera. Hopefully you guys didn't get seasick from that or something. All right. Then from about over here, if you can see it. See, I'm not at the top. I'm about in the middle. And I want to come down to right about here. Okay. So I got a line mark there and there. See it? Just a round line down like that. And then we'll do one more from about here to about right there, okay? So just kind of a round line like that, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four hills. And then right here, I'm going to put myself a tree, okay? Now, as far as a tree goes, man, you could do this a lot of different ways. You could draw like a truffle tree, right? From like uh, the Lorax and Dr. Seuss. You could draw like a... Um, a pine tree, you know, with pine cones, you know, it's kind of like a zigzag kind of shh, like that. Or you can draw like a broadleaf tree that's got it the big branches and big, big leaves. Okay. It really doesn't matter. And you could make this any way you want, guys. Um, but basically, start off with a trunk, right? And I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, I think what's, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make just, a, just some brown lines, just a broadleaf tree. Just some round lines. It's going to come all the way back over here. I want to close it off. Okay? Like that. Just like that. And you're done. No, I'm just kidding. we got to do a little more than that, right? Because that's not quite high quality artwork right now. Okay, so now we want to look at shapes. Okay? Because I see a shape here. I see a shape here. A shape here, a shape there, a shape there, a shape there. And if you brought this high enough, then you probably have a shape over here as well, right? Okay, so each one of those shapes, we're going to do a Zentangle. Okay, now, um, I provided some, some links to some videos um, with those Zentangles. Um, I don't obviously can't give you a book or any other things that I have in the classroom, but the links that, that I um, left for you, the other videos for Zentangle should give you plenty of options. And remember, you can Google Zentangles and come up with some pictures. Um, or you can just make your own, right? I mean, we've done this before. Okay. So when I'm looking at this, what I'm seeing, first of all, is I'm seeing some really thin lines here. Okay. I don't like those thin lines. I rather have a double line like this. Okay, and remember, this is yours, not mine. So make it look like yours. If yours ends up looking like mine, well, that's okay. That's fine. But you are the artist here, okay? So you make some, some decisions on your own. Try and make it the best that you can. Ooh, it looks like I'm going to run out of space right there. Whoa. 
I think since this whole this whole thing's going on right now with the virus and all that kind of stuff, and I'm spending so much time with my kids that are way younger than you guys, I've been talking much more in a baby voice than I ever have. You know, singing little songs and doing little things because I'm a dad. Right? Kind of weird. Okay. Let's focus that back in. Okay, so I started to kind of put these things in here. So now I can come up with a Zentangle for here, 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 and here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video. And I'll take some pictures as the way I go. Or maybe I'll record. I haven't decided yet. But um, I'll start filling this thing in. And we will draw the Zentangles in um, today. And then next time, we'll work on adding some colors to it. All right? All right, see you in a bit.